change your batteries? Hey guys, it's Mumei and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny, it's Phil. Phil. We're running around grabbing stuff. You might see Shannon or hear Shannon in the background. There she is. While she's in here, let me show you one of the gifts she got at the thing, at the Craft Acropolis. Was it just this in here? Yeah, that's all it was. This is what she got Patty. from Patty. Look, Patty gave her this full of shenanigans hat. It says full of shenanigans. How cute is that? Have you put it on yet? Oh! <laughs> Fortunately, it's very soft. I just whopped her right in the head with it. Oh, let me move. So cute. It is actually very cute on you. You're, <laughs> you make me sick. You can wear every color. You can wear hats. You can wear... Shannon, take your bag. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> she is so cute, y'all. We get our nails in at the same place, and we sit there with those nail samples, you know, the color samples that you put on your finger like this. I literally, for fun, will try to find a color that I think is hideous and put it on her skin, and it works every time. She has perfect skin for that. Everything she gives works. Me the ugly colors. I do. I pick like neon green or just the ugliest colors, and they work on her every time. I did not get, oh, I was going to say, I didn't get these. Who are they from? It says right here. Look at these. These are from Susan Fisher. This is stuff we got at Craft Acropolis. This is gifts that were brought to us, by the way, what I'm showing you right now. And these are Scotch Kisses from C's Candy. They are the greatest candy in the world. As opposed to the worst candy in the world, which Vince So and I, far, I've only had one of them. Vince and I had this discussion of what the worst candy in the world is. Black and licorice unequivocally exactly, no, exactly she loves black unequivocally the worst candy in the world are those peanut butter nougaty taffy things that come in the orange and black packages oh, yeah, those are write it bad. down those are the worst candy ever no these are the best candy Not so as bad as those ever. are these are the the complete opposite of those they're that good oh my goodness these are so soft right now oh they're so, oh, they're so good <sighs> we need to now we can eat them <laughs> We saved Someone them. has been eating them. They're so good. It's like trick or treat for Shannon. <laughs> it does not say just to Shannon, by the way. Well, no, it doesn't. It, Shannon. It, starts with a it says to Vinny. May May and staff. You yeah. see all that candy in there? But you know whose name you see whose name is first. That's, That's who they're really for. No, they're not. That's my candy. This card says thank you on it. And it's a little letter. Um, okay, thank you for having this event. Last year was fun, meaning the online event, but so much, so much more getting to meet everyone and make new friends. Blessings from Lori Strickland. Vinny has pretzels. They are not here. The pretzels are not here. That's because they've been getting eaten. <laughs> they are sitting by his chair at home. She got him some pretzels by a company called Dots, D-O-T-Z. I want to say it was Dots, and she gets them at Winn-Dixie. I don't know, but they are... I have not had the honey mustard one yet, but the original ones, they, they are real strong. I mean, they are real strong. And she made me this adorable, she made us all one of these, these little adorable books with yeah. post-its and these cute little pins. So cute. I love this. I'm getting a new backpack, and I think this is going to go right in it. This is perfect for a backpack. Yeah. Perfect. Yours in yet? Oh, at your house. At your house, though? Don't have it sent here so I can enjoy it. I was like, okay, my friend Wanda gave me this. How stinking cute is this cup? I love this cup. Wanda is a sweetheart. I think Wanda's been at like our last three Ooh. events, I think. She's been both the Craft, Craft Acropolis. It's That's not, from California, Wanda, right? Yes. Okay. It's not UTZ pretzels. It's D-O, D-O, either D-O-T-Z or D-O-D. Z. I'll have to look. I thought it was dots, but I can't remember. <coughs> it's something like that. You can get me a drink, did you? Okay. No, but I'll share. Probably I think should. it's okay for us to share. We I don't want married. your germs. <laughs> this is the first time I got your germs in weeks. I'm kidding. I've been threatening to eat a cracker, so. I can see that happening. You're not going to be able to talk. Right. This little bag. Dots pretzels. Tamitha clarified. Dots. She said, she said, I feel sure y'all know about these. We didn't, because they come from Winn-Dixie. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know if my Winn-Dixie carries them. We're going to look. We haven't been to Winn-Dixie since then. So this card I fell in love with. Look at this shape. I love it. It reminds me of a kimono, not a kimono, 
sort of, but it reminds me of like a, a karate outfit. Wouldn't this be cute if you had kids doing karate? Like, doesn't it just kind of look like a karate outfit? And you could change this based on what belt they are? I think that's cute, isn't it? I thought this was so cute, and look how it works. Super cute. Thank you for all you do. You really make a difference in people's lives. Love and hugs from Beth Salter. Isn't that cute? I love this card. She and I talked about it. I'm like, that would be cute. Like, when my kids were in karate, you know, they went through the belt colors. That'd be cute. And here are some other goodies. First off, first off. She sent me, she gave me a Georgia on my mind magnet. That'll be going on the fridge. Love that. Put it back in here so I don't lose anything. The reveal is always the same day unless it's just a fluke. Look at this. The original club reveals on the 6th of the month and the scripture club reveals on the 21st. It, there's nothing bad. Not bad. There's nothing private. <laughs> Isn't this cute? I love these. I have a video making these on my channel. Y'all check it out. These are fun to make, and they're really cute to hang off of gifts and stuff, to hang off gift bags, and then they become an ornament too. Look at that sassy weenie dog. We have an announcement to make later. I don't think we've told the folks out in YouTube land, but we will. Not now. Let's wait, because I'm going to use your phone to do the announcement. All right, look at this. These are weenie dog paper clips. How y'all find this stuff? I do not know. I do not know. But look at these paper clips. There are weenie dogs. For new viewers that don't know, I am very much in love with weenie dogs. We have three right now. And look at right them. now. Right now we have three. Love these so much. Oh my gosh. I said, Shannon, I don't know what happened to my cup. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to show that to you. I have no sense. No sense. Okay. So there is that wonderful little tidbit. Here's Vinny's. Is your stuff out of here? You take everything out. The stuff in there, people ate at the event. I had two. I don't know what came in it. It was the um, Goo Goo Clusters. I got none of the Goo Goo yeah. Clusters. I, I had one at the event, and then I took the last one out of the bag before somebody else got it and hid it. Where so I could take it home. Our friend Mo made these bags from Dollar Tree placemats, and in this one she had Goo Goo clusters, which Vince fell in love with. But this one's mine. I can smell it right now. This one's mine. It says blessed, and look at this. I meant to ask Mo like a hundred times where she got this candle from. Seems like I did finally get to ask her, and she told me Cracker Barrel. Am I right about that? It's. It should say divine. It should say. But she's from Tennessee where they make the Goo Goo Cluster, and that's why she brought it to us. Yeah, we didn't get none. It was supposed to be for just me, but people ate them. And I'm not going to say, you know, that it was Brenda, but, I mean, it, you know, people ate them. <laughs> it's a Chesapeake Bay, and it's called Blessed Fall Obsessed. I don't know how many she ate, though. I should know. say I know she had one. She might have had multiples. I don't know what it's called. I just know, I mean, I don't know how to describe the scent. I can just tell you that it smells like, it smells like a hayride and a hug mixed together. Like mm. the warmth of a hug and the fun of a hayride. See if I'm right. Think hug and hayride. Not, don't think, what is it? Baby, don't look, think moony eyed and hayride. <laughs> don't <even come> <laughs> I gotta catch my breath, y'all, excuse me. Yeah. Hugging a hayride, right? Hugging a hayride, Maybe that's sure. what it should be called. Goo -goo, they need to ask goo -goo me. Goo-goo-eyed, hugging a... Mooney-eyed. You know, in a blanket. Mooney-eyed. In a hayride. It could smell like pigs in a blanket, like on a hayride. Pigs in a blanket on a hayride. I am so sad about the stuff on my map. Okay. Then I received from you wonderful folks. This is from... Did she... She didn't give me... She gave me a card. I don't think she gave me, I'm going to look and see if it fell There's out before I show that one. There's a couple from, uh, he was a Philadelphia Eagles yeah. fan. Yeah. Here, yes. Yes, this is the card that goes with it. Susan Fisher. I, I hate to say I don't no, remember. No, it wasn't Susan. It wasn't Susan. Now I'm sad. Because I cannot remember. I swear she gave me a card, though. She made me a card. Where, everything ended up in here, I thought. Oh, wait. Here's some cards back here. Hold on. Nope, that's a voucher. Nope, that's a stamp set. Oh, I don't know. I'm still going to show y'all. 
And I got to show y'all this one too. Did she sign this book? I hope she did. I bet she didn't. This book is so gorgeous. And look, when we first got to the event, oh, what was her? Why did I not write it in here? Ash shenanigans. Shannon. Yo. Was there a card with this? No. I'm looking at her face. Rhonda. Rhonda. Um, Rhonda. Um, we both said it at the same time. Rhonda Henry. Yeah, Rhonda, Rhonda Henry. Henry. Same time we got it. Okay. Rhonda Henry made me this book, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And when she first got to the event, this was laying on her table partially done. And I was like oohing and on over it. And she came over and said, this is for you. I didn't even know she was making it for me. Look how beautiful. It's like a junk journal with all these laces. Just gorgeous little journal look with little inserts in it so pretty Rhonda Henry I'm sitting here looking at her little face she's the cutest thing yeah. look at that that's so cute and look I want to show you the charms she made these little charms and one of them says handmade no one says made with love don't y'all love those little charms we used to make these when I was in high school and share them like friendship stuff love those so cute and what's look, up G she ties it with this ribbon ties with it Gee, I'm loving your walk-arounds in London. I, I need more of those, please. I know, you probably get tired of hearing it. I need more of those. <laughs> Just take your camera and walk around London and show me everything, because I'm loving it. Look how pretty. I will never tie this bow like she did, but stunning, right? Thank you, Rhonda. Um, let me, I'll like say something and then do it. Okay. Was there a card with this? They were from Philadelphia. It was um, um, Catherine Hess. I think, I think. I think you're right. Hess. Yes. Hess. I don't know why I'm remembering y'all. Because <laughs> you knew everybody. Like it was. I, I had tried a hard to time. Make sure I knew everybody. So I am pretty sure Catherine Hess and her husband, that's who was standing there talking to us. They were from Philadelphia. He's an Eagles fan. We talked about that because now we have an Alabama player on the Eagles team. I remember all this conversation with two on the Eagles team. Sorry, I don't do that. I'm not an Alabama fan. Anyway. It's probably more than two. but That was one breath. She gave me this mix and match embossing folder set that she just got because she knew how much I love that penny slider one. And I told her thank you very much. And to tell you guys, more of these are coming because... You guys went wild over those. A lot of you guys were telling me you like it because you don't have to pay the international shipping if you get them for us. So we have more of these coming. But I'm excited to crack into this one. And then, um, I don't know that yeah, one. Yeah, I do. This was from Rhonda Ferris. Uh, I do know that one. Then. Rhonda Ferris got me this. Am I right? I'm pretty sure. I think you are. Right. I'm trying to think of the table I was standing at. I don't think I'm right. Mm -mm. It might have been the table. See, this is the thing. I remember you holding it up. Oh, look what I got. I know. Yeah, I don't remember where I was standing when you said that. When they hand it to me and then I walk away with it, I'm like this. And then I go to the next conversation. I'm now hugging it. Events, write write name your name on your them. In a huge Sharpie. Um, love try. this. Look at these. Y'all know I'm going to have so much fun with these. I love it. Thank you so much for that. I really do try. But a lot of stuff comes at us at one time. Well, I know Susan like gave me the candy and then screamed at me to come back so we could write her name on it so we would remember because she knew we were. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. All right. Um, these cards, now I remember who these are from. Look at these. These are so pretty. She said this card had to be for me. Look how pretty this card is. Look, isn't that awesome? And what she was showing me, she said, I love this zebra tear design. Isn't Rhonda that cool? Rhonda said it was not her. <sighs> you showed me that you were in the I know, Beth. I was in the middle of the room. I'm trying to think. And she bought herself one and me one. If it was you, please put your name in there. Oh, I feel terrible about that. I'm going to start carrying a Sharpie around and writing it down myself. Love this card and this one and this one. I mean, I could get the, the seating chart. The seating chart. Start guessing. Aren't these cute? All this, she said, this is from Susan, Susan Fisher. And she said, all these zebra cards reminded her of me. Why, I wonder. And so she brought them for me, and I love them. I love them. Okay, then, this is really pretty. Now, listen. Let, let me show Patty's. I don't know that I can show all of that. Oh, I did it, but I didn't do that. 
don't know that I can show all of that in that box. There is so much stuff in that box. Is so this is why your cart wouldn't turn. My cart this would not roll. This is why the cart wouldn't roll. I, <gasps> I think that's where my um, card for that thing is, in that box down there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There. Oh. <laughs> Front row. Oh no. Okay. Look. This is from Patty Stone. <laughs> Look at that in the camera. These are all items from, is this, oh, look at that. These are all items from either her town or her state. I think it was from both places. Let me get the card, because I think she explained it in the card. Y'all, this thing weighs a ton. It's for the crew, it's for all of us. And it says, all right. Here's a little bit that is made in Indiana. Is I want to see. Salter that gave you this paper? What does this say? Nope. Nothing in there. That's. This was. This was. That was Melanie. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, I promise you this much. If we could find a wreath form, we'd have some wreath kit. I'd be making wreaths. I'm ready for wreaths, but. Let's pray. We have some on order. Okay, she gave me this. This, no, this was not from Patty. Somebody handed me this. They handed us all one. Uh -huh. They're, they're. Um, Patty brought this. Is this Patty? Yeah. Okay, this is a bookmark. See how it slides in your book? But it's also a pen holder. So you can put your pen in it. Isn't that cute? It's neat. And it goes in your book and holds in place. And she gave us all one of these. Oh, by the way. So funny. Okay, all of this is from her area. There's so much in here, okay, so much. I cannot go through all of it, but like candy, um, sauces, popcorn, ketchup, honey. She went wild. There's so much in here. So we're going to be divvying this out. And there was some pre-made packs of popcorn in there, but they didn't make it. No, you know where they made it to? My house. Right, with the Goo Goo Clusters I didn't get. Oh, I didn't get a Goo Goo Cluster either, but we you didn't said get they were one. gone. I, they were gone. To the house. No, I do not take them all to the house. <laughs> to the house. That's where he took them. Okay. I don't have my other one. But this was given to me. This is kind of cool. It was in a two-pack. I know this is yours. It was in a two-pack. And it was handed to me in the hallway. I have got to take a Sharpie with me. Got to. Um, I'm always in between classes or something and running. But anyway, these are kind of cool. You take your mask and you clip this onto your mask. Like the mask goes through here. And then you can wear it around your neck. And your mask is always on your neck. And mine is black and white and Vince's is camo. Cool, but mine's in my purse. Um, that up there. I don't know if I should show these I'd yet. Wait. It's going to start a frenzy. I'd wait. Okay, listen. We got a new product that's coming to the store that was shown to me at the event, and y'all are going to freak out. So I cannot show you now because you will blow us up email-wise. I know you will, but they are coming. Now this, I have to read the card. I haven't. Um, hold on, because there's a letter. Hold on. I, I don't know if I can read it on. Ooh. No, because it was a thick end. Yeah. And we didn't look because we thought it might be sympathy, remember? Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. But I want to know about this. You want me to scroll through that while you show and talk? And yes. See I'll, I'll, I'll see if I find Yes. Info okay. On it. This gift is from Cindy Rodman. Now, if y'all know Cindy, Cindy made Boom Chicka Boom. She makes the chicks, the chickens, that go into the Operation Christmas Child boxes. And don't let me forget to show this, too. I need to show that. Um, and she also has this ostrich that she draws that I think is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look what she made me. It's a purse first. I want to see. It's a bag. I'm going to say it's a tote bag. She painted that ostrich on here. Y'all, here's what I'm going to say about this ostrich. Y'all just got to bear with me for a second. This ostrich is the embodiment of my grandmother. This, this is her. This is her look. She would love this. She would wear the headdress. She would do all of this. It reminds me of her so much. I love this. And she painted it on this bag. And then she filled this bag with goodies. Just And she sent this to me. Filled it with all kinds of stuff. Um, she even put in the little wallet little cut-aparts with scripture on them. <laughs> Do you see that? That is so sweet. Look, she even filled this up with little scripture cut-aparts. 
Okay, inside here, y'all. Isn't there like a is a tote is a purse? is a purse? Oh, it seems like there was a wallet in there. Look, this is a um, carry strap for the purse, a one year Bible, and I think this is a journal. Yep, a journal. And look at this little package of hope, um, hope, hands of hope. I was gonna say hope in a jar, hands of hope and hope in a stick, which is you know, philosophy like skincare or treatments or whatever. Treatments is that the word? I think that's the word. I think that's everything. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything in here because this is a big old bag. I'm literally echoing. <laughs> Did you hear it? So, such a sweet gift and I love that it has this because like like when we're cruising and I need a big bag but then when we're going somewhere I just need a small bag that's cool right so awesome oh it has another strap right there so cool Cindy thank you so much for this I have not read your letter in its entirety I started the first page and then I thought it was going to make me cry so it I just probably would have. I decided I, not to finish it all I found about the bag it is says it is my hope that I've brought you a little smile and she even did if you don't like the artwork you can turn it to the plain side and this little tote will help you carry God's love his word his craft supplies or whatever he has for you to carry on any given day don't like the artwork it's awesome that's the best part of the whole bag uh -huh, it's so, cute. so good but it is a very sweet letter and, and this one did make me cry and I blame Patty for it because Patty came up to me and said I have something for you and she's like, as soon as I heard about your mom and what I had told about mom, that this picture came to her mind, and so she made it for me. And I don't like to study on it because it makes me cry, so I'm going to turn it over and show you all. This is a framed picture that she gave me that literally is probably what my mom looked like the day she got to meet Jesus. <laughs> and I can't do it, so we're going to do it like that. It's so beautiful. Patty knows. We had a moment together, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Was in there. I showed that. It was in here. Yeah, I showed that. Patty, you know how much I love that picture, and I told you how much it looks like Mama. And I cried. <laughs> there was a lot of crying at this event. Yes. You know, we say there's no crying in crafting. There's, there's a, lot a lot of crying of at Craft Acropolis. But we weren't crafting when we cried. And we weren't crying over crafting. No, no crying over crafting. Listen, my sweet friends at Decorators Warehouse sent me this, back, this basket, and it is a sympathy gift. It came in very, very sweet. This is the card. But here, I have... Honestly, I did not read the words on this card. I just can't. But I did look at this, and they all signed it. And I have to be honest, I have not read it yet. I will read it. But I want to show you all this. I am blown away by the kindness of all of our friends. Just amazingness. Look at this. It's, this is like a hug in a basket. Look at these little, these little socks that are so precious. They sent us a little sourdough bread maker which is so funny it's called brew bread so you like you use beer to make it and it was on thomas's 21st birthday and i said thomas look they sent you some beer bread they know right some bath salts in here all this is like a relaxation um basket my favorite candle in the world this is the orleans blue spruce that smells literally like christmas no it smells like decorators <laughs> it smells like decorators it well, just decorator smells like christmas it, it transports me there um, red hot jalapeno jelly, which Shannon's going to make us some sausage pinwheels and see how delicious this pepper jelly is. Um, this one is going to go home with me because it's pecan apple butter, and I can just see this poured over some ice cream. And how much sodium? Oh, it wasn't much. You already 25 milligrams. So I can put that over ice cream. I only have the one little bluebell thingy. That's perfect. Okay. These coffees, Merry Texmas, Home for the Holidays, and Jingle Bell Java. Also, this cracker mix, which is, Vinny's going to freak out. He loves cracker mix. It's just add oil and toss them around in here. You love this stuff. There's another candle, and it's pumpkin. Delicious. We were burning it in the store. It yeah. smells fantastic. Um, such a sweet gift. I love the basket as much as all of it. And listen, all of these items are from Decorators Warehouse, and they sell online now. So you can go to decoratorswarehouse.com and pick up. I don't know if all these goodies are there, but you can pick up a lot of goodies. And I'm so grateful for this. I've got to um, make a phone call to her. I love that. Okay, Tony Sloan. Well, let me do this one. Amy. Ellis. Ellis. <laughs> Amy Ellis makes these pens out of spoons and silverware. Look at this. It's a writing pen, right? She gave me and Brenda one of these. She gave Shannon, a, well, she gave Shannon, Brenda, Kim, and Lisa a spoon ring. 
because um, she makes these. She wouldn't let us pay for them. They were just gifts. They're beautiful. And she gave me, and it's hanging at home because I wore it the other day, um, a spoon heart necklace. So pretty, but she doesn't sell them. And I was like, if you will start selling these, I know some people who would want them because they match our bracelets. Yes. You know? She makes bracelets too. Her bracelets look different than Mr. Jim's, which is really cool. She was so sweet. She said, I even bought some for Mr. Jim. I just wanted to support him. I thought that was so <laughs> kind. Yeah. But I'm in love with this. The way it's weighted. I mean, can you just see going somewhere and like they offer your pen like, nah, I got one. I got my own pen. Didn't we make the sausage pinwheels on Vinny's Vittles? We did. Yes, they are on Vinny's Vittles. Okay, so look them up on Vinny's Vittles, Terry. That's the issue. I have had black ink on everything. You know why? I did not put the lid on. And it has gotten everywhere. Just found it. At least I know. At least I know. Um, I need to clean all those things. Oh, how sad. Okay, so Tony Slump. Look, I even got it on there. Here, I'll tuck it down in there. You might not need all of them. Um, I brought my goodies over. Oh, yeah, I thought <gasps> you brought goodies out. Oh, no, I'm going to have to squeaky clean that. Oh, wow, that's close. Yeah. All right, let me show you. Well, I didn't bring them over. Here they are. So, out. Tony Sloan made a gift for every person in every class. Like, if she was in a class, every student in her class got a gift. This little mug came with marshmallows, a candy cane, and hot chocolate, so you could make yourself like a... Hot chocolate, look, that looks awful, but that's where my pen leaked. Um, but I opened this up to use it because I didn't have anything to put all my tools on on my desk, and this was perfect. Shannon didn't open hers, but it was wrapped in plastic, and she made this cute little guy using our snow peaking stamp set. Um, this cute little tag was hanging on it. Loved it. Now, that's not the only thing she made. I think there's a little one right here. One of her little ones that she made. Oh, here it is. I knew I saw it in the corner of something. Oops. Oops. Microphone, damn. Okay, she also, this is one she made, I don't remember what class this was, but she made this for everybody, and inside here is a hand sanitizer, and she made another one similar to this that had a little lotion. So if you were in her class, everybody, when they came in, they had a little gift on their desk she had made for all the students. So sweet. So that is from Tony Sloan. We love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some squeaky clean in here so it'll start eating that ink up. It's on everything, isn't it? Um, I think I got it off of most. I gotta go give my husband a key. Okay. Are you fixing to do that other? Thing? I'm gonna show these products and then do it okay. so you can I'll, I'll be back go ahead. Time. I guess at that point. Okay. I think that's everything except for the one thing I really, really, really can't wait to show y'all. That's coming later. Okay. Let's go over some new product real quick. I came back to this and I'm so excited about this. Look at this paper. Okay, Simple Stories was the star of the show at Craft Acropolis. We ended up doing two classes with Simple Stories, one with Echo Park and one with Cartabella. Yes, and people were raving over the Simple Stories um, projects, which we haven't carried a lot of Simple Stories. We've carried some, we've had it, but I think you're gonna see a lot more of their stuff here, and I think you're gonna see a lot more of their collection kits too, because they're really cool. Check this one out. This one is called Simple Vintage Country Harvest. I'm loving this, and I want to make an album out of it. I want to make one of those, um, maybe we could do that next week. You want to do that next week where I just sit down and make that album? Okay. I love this one. I think, I love a fall album. I made one when we went to our trip to Helen, and I just fell in love with it. And we've got a little trip coming up, a one-day trip. And if I can take enough pictures, which I really hope to, I think it'd be cute to do an album for it. Oh. Y'all, we had a new paper crafter. God love her. And we were opening our paper and everything, and we were, like, smelling it. And she was looking at us like we were crazy. And I get it. It happens. And I was like, do you not like the smell of it? She's like, no. I'm like, you don't love the divine smell of the paper? She's like, no. She went, it's gross. I was like, no, it's not gross. I said, you're just not in love with paper yet. Oh, but I'm loving it. Look at the polka dots. And then look at this one. This is cool fall paper. I really like this. Look at that plaid. I love the way they mix their florals and their plaids. And y'all, I got a stamp set coming that's going to be great with this. All right. Well, nice. Just telling you. Just telling you. Not telling you, but telling you. Look at this. Love this. Look at that blue plaid. Are you kidding me? So cute. And then look at the pumpkins. I love this paper pack. And I know a lot of you guys will too. That orange, yes, had me at plaid. Had me at check butterflies. 
Can I tell y'all, I've never really been, a, can I share this? I've never really been attracted to butterflies. It's never been, like I know a lot of people like that's their spirit animal and I get it or their spirit insect if you have one and I get it. But um, the morning after mama passed, it's so funny because you just don't think this is you. You think you're not this person, right? You think, like I don't get it when people have, have these moments with insects or whatever it is, you know. And I walked out on the back porch the morning after the worst day of my life, right? And I'm, I'm standing on the back porch and listen, we don't have butterflies in our yard. Like, do you ever remember this? Like, we have red birds. We have red birds like crazy, but we don't have butterflies. And I walked out and I was looking over the porch, just standing there looking outside. And I looked down and there was this flapping on the grass. And <clears throat> I was like, what is that? And I looked closer and it was a little butterfly, like in the grass, just flapping around. Can I have some drink? And it took me back. Because look, I know my mama doesn't come to me in any form. That's I don't believe like that. I know that, right? <coughs> Some people might believe that. I don't, that's not how my belief system works. So I don't think it was my mama. <laughs> but it was just so pretty. It was like God was just going, think on these things. It was just flapping its little wings. And I, I told Vince, I said, I understand it now. It's, it's just a reminder of the beautiful things he creates, even in what we're going through, right? And so that butterfly, it's changed my opinion of butterflies. And now I see them everywhere. And I don't know if we had them before and I never saw them because they weren't a thing, but now I see them everywhere. And I have a whole new love of butterflies. So there you go. More pumpkins, I'm sorry, all the sadness, I'm sorry. Look at that pretty piece. Ooh, that color is not doing justice on screen. That's gorgeous, isn't it? It is. I'm sorry, Vinny, I don't mean to make you cry. Look, I have a look. I'm loving these butterflies. It's a, it's a whole new connection that I never had before. Um, and polka dots, love that. Love that. Look at these cut apart. See, this would be good for the album. Good for the album idea. I love that. So, oh, look at the plaid. Look at these pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Autumn days are here again. Pumpkin spice. It's fall, y'all. Is it fall where you guys are yet? It's trying here real hard, but it's not being successful yet. Oh, these are great. This is a good one to do an album with, like for real. Ooh, that's a fun page. That's real fun. Look at these, oh, I love that one. Wouldn't that be beautiful for the cover? So pretty. Love that one. And then finally, my favorite page, the stickers. Look at all these. Oh, seasons of change, colors of fall, autumn's in the air. Look at all these little tabs. That's really cute. I love this. I think this would be a good one. I'm sorry. Are you all right? You good? You're a little verklempt. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it to you. It might be fun to do the album next week. Okay. This is back. This is one of those workhorse punches. Can y'all see what that is? It's the branch. It's so good for everything. It's good for all seasons. It's good for inking. It's good for embossing, like doing the embossing lines in it. It's good for card making. It's good for home decor. This is a good one for everything. Love this guy. Love that punch. It's just back in stock. I'm just showing you that. I think these are also just back in stock items. These are the blades for the Dress My Craft and also the Dress My Craft mini trimmer. This works in both, so these are in stock. Um, oh, I want to I want to talk about those. I'm not going to show those just yet. This guy, did y'all see my video Tuesday? I don't think I did a very good job of explaining this to you guys. This is a punch board you will use for every occasion. Like some people are like, I don't make them enough or whatever. No, this will change the game for you. You'll be able to make more explosion envelopes, I mean cards, because this does the work for you. Some people were like, got to have it, and some people were like, it's too much work. It's not too much work. Like, I may have made it seem that way, but you got to remember, I open the box and show you, like from me opening the box, I literally can do this without reading any instructions now. Like, I could open this up and go to town and get it done, and I think this thing is awesome. So I want to make sure you know the Explosion Card Punch Board 
is great and you're going to be able to use that explosion box for other things you're going to think outside the box outside the box and you're going to put it in other things and it's going to pop out and you're going to love it love this board i don't know how many are left but grab it it every every occasion new baby i brought a bunch of them in hey, so new baby what just popped out <laughs> look my friends would appreciate that that's funny do we have a new baby coming babe something like are that. we expecting something like that hold on we'll tell y'all okay this is not all of them. Do you remember me telling you that 49 and Market has made all these, has done all the work for us? I want to show y'all, which one is it? This one. Okay. This is a quarter flip fold. These are pockets. They're pre-made pockets for your albums. They come in black, craft, and white. These are, you get four, um, four pockets, two half and two full. So they come in two different sizes. There's several different ones to choose from. One of them has got a pattern in it that you can cut more out, They right? all do. Look. Okay, let me just open one. Let me just open this and show you. All right. On the backs of them. These don't, but this one does. Okay. So here's the deal. I think they all do. So these are two pockets, pre-made, pre-scored, pre-everything. You can fold it all the way under and just have a gusset, or you can fold it on the two lines and have a quarter inch pocket okay there's two of the pockets these are full pockets so look at these pre-made for you this is the flap that opens um do i have this right hold on let me look at the thing oh this one go okay this one goes this way so it opens like this and you glue this down after you cover it and then you have a pocket to the side and it goes in the book like this so you can open the page open the page, pocket, cut, so cool. Or you can do all kinds of stuff with them. You get two of those, but here's what's cool, okay? Do you see this on the back? It says for easy matting, okay, trim template to work with six inch wide paper. You trim this out of the packaging and you get a template to cover these guys and mat the pockets. Come on, that's awesome. That is one, can you put those back in there? Cause I don't want to mess try. up. But what I want to show y'all are these two. What's the difference? Okay. In one horizontal one. No, this one is the quarter flip and this is the flip. So let me show you just the flip first. So this one, okay. Let me show you on the back of these guys. It's all done for you. All right, so this piece here Goes this, this, you insert in the book. You glue it in either way you want, this way or this way in the book. Then look, this opens, this opens, this opens, and this opens. So on one page of the book, you extend it this much. Look how big this is. This is so cool, right? Then you also get in this one, you get these, which are pages you can add if you want to add them to the inside. If you want to add them anywhere else, there's your little fold for that, okay? And you also get these guys. So if you want to have this where it lifts up, let me oh, see. Oh, one what, was jagged and one is not. These are both jagged. That's what I couldn't figure out. Look, if hmm. you want to put a spine on this, so it says, um, so if you wanted to, okay, let me close it. If you wanted to use a spine on here, so that this piece opens like that too, you can to have an even more real estate. I mean, seriously, that's one of them. And you've done a video with these, right? Not with these pieces. With some of them though. Not with these pieces, with the book, but not any of the inserts. Oh, okay. And this is the same thing. The difference of this one, let me see the difference. Oh, 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 okay, look. So this is a full piece here and a full piece here. The difference on this one is they split that piece to give you more real estate. So, but you could do that yourself too. You could split that yourself. Aren't these awesome? All the work done for you. No measuring, no cardstock messed up because we didn't know what exactly we were cutting. No thinking, just a symbol. That's it, I love it. It's like a puzzle, but in such a good way. In such a good way, love them. Look, I did that so you wouldn't have to. Put those back inside. Like I said, we have a lot of these foundation items in store. We have the waterfall. We have the black large pockets. I want to say we have the small black waterfall, the white waterfall. We have so many of them. All done for you. All right. 
Here's the deal. A lot of you guys have been liking my new black mat. I've got a lot of comments about it, okay? I have this colorway coming. It's not here yet. I have this colorway coming, not this size. This size I have is huge, and I have that because I film, so I need this really big space. The size we're gonna offer for you guys, which also works for filming, is the 18 by, the 12 by 18 size. That's what size this is. It's gonna come in two color options. This color option is teal on one side. Where is Cindy? Cynthia? This is so hers, right, teal? Teal on one side, gray on the other. That gray is beautiful. Let me slick that where you can see the gray. Um, but here's something I want to caution you about, okay? This says, designed for use with rotary cutters only. Fixed blade knives may damage the mat. You know when you're using your X-Acto, it can damage, don't press too hard, and it warns you that it can damage it. Then it says, rotate and flip the mat periodically to avoid excessive wear in one spot. Um, the other stuff you already know. But um, Amber wanted me to point that out. She put that in the product description. But I love this, and I'm using it just like it is. I think it's beautiful. I love the little edging on it. See how cute it is? I have three of these in stock right now, but we have more coming. Y'all been asking about mats, and I'm trying to find them. Look, even my distributors are find, trying to find a source. We're doing what we can do. Um, oh, my gosh, don't let me forget to show what Trent gave me. It's cool. All right, a couple more products, and then we'll show you that. This, the Romantic Collection. You guys have been loving these little paper packs. Like these have been flying off the shelf. Like they love them. When I say little, it's eight pages. And what you get, oh, these are loud. Hold on. Just rip it open. This is mine anyway. I'm going to keep it. Because um, I also want to use this one for one of those albums. I have an idea. Okay, so look. This little guy is the cutest thing. This little paper pack, which is probably all we would need. Maybe this and a little bit more for the paper, pla paper pack. I mean the album. But little cut aparts, look at this cute page. Look how cute these are. This paper smells good too. That adhesive helps because I like the smell of that adhesive too. <laughs> look how gorgeous. There's some things you still should keep to yourself. I keep nothing to myself, y'all. Look at these. This is so cute. I love this. And these are really affordable. And if you just want to make smaller projects, like if you just want to make tags for your Christmas gifts, these are perfect for that. Look at this little advent. And this, these are so cute, these little pieces. I think these fit behind. <laughs> so if you wanted to cut those open, you could. <laughs> oh, or if you wanted to stick them on top like a stamp set, like a lick and stick stamp. You good? Yeah, I just want to make sure that was it. And make I your apologize, own. I apologize, y'all. Bless me. <laughs> Bless me. You thought, Josh. Remember when we spent forever going, Josh, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Look at these blank ones that you can make your own little pieces. And this little city scene. So cute. Love these. You guys have been loving these little guys. I guess so. he got excuse me and bless you. Remember he would go bless me. I'm like, Josh, it's not how it works. Okay, super excited. How many of these did we get? Because I want to schedule it. All I could get. We don't know how many came in? Uh, I don't off the top of my head. Okay, this is a photo play holiday card kit. Tula and Norbert, you all love Tula and Norbert. This is the Christmas party set. Look how stinking cute this is. Now, I don't want to open this, but the reason I don't want to open it is because it's a kit. <clears throat> so everything's in here in order. But how this kit works, hold on, my tickle's back. Let me get a drink. How this kit works is you get all that you need in here except twine and I think foam and glue. What does it tell you? Step-by-step um, -step written instructions. So it walks you through how to make each card. So if you just want to kind of dip your toe into card making, this is the perfect way to do it. All, the, all these little die cutouts are included. You don't have to have die machines. You don't have to have anything. This is all done for you. Um, and in the past, I have gone live and put this together. And I would love to do that again. I need to see how many of these I've got, and I'd love to just schedule a time for us to go live and put this together. What we do is, and if you have it, what's really cool is, Shannon reads the instructions and we put it together. So I would love to do that. And that might can happen depending on how many we got. I'll have to look and see. But I'm sure I will do it at some point because I love doing it. All right, it's time to show what Trent gave us. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm giving it away. Do you guys remember me saying I needed a bell? I remember saying it. 
I don't know what I was doing when I said it. Now, first, let me show you this. I don't know if this means I have more work to do or if he's just being kind. But y'all know I challenge myself. I'm trying to show y'all that. Y'all know I challenge myself to uh, make a, a new gift card holder for every one of the gift cards he sent me. So I have a different gift card holder, which is coming. I'm working on that. But look what he did on these. This is hilarious. Look at these. He made Vinny's Hunting and Fishing Emporium gift card. I guess now you need a Hunting and Fishing Emporium. I do, clearly. Now you have no excuse. So he made these for Vinny. So the back of all of these have that on it, which is hilarious. So I guess depending on who I'm giving the gift to, it'll be from me or from you, depending. Wow, Karen, I'm so sorry. She lost her husband to a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Gosh, a lot of loss going on right now. We understand exactly what you're going through. Um... I hate going from that stuff back to, you know what I'm saying? I'm really sorry. This card is for Vince. It says, to my pal Vinny, here's hoping you have the best hunting season ever. And he sent him a Cabela's card. Thank Isn't you, Isn't that so Appreciate sweet? That, my here's your card. He's so excited. Okay, when I said I needed a bell, look what he did. He made me this bell, which, by the way, this is a for real bell. This is not like a little dainty bell, nothing soft. Or, can ring I really it. ring it? I'm going to put it away from my microphone. That dude's loud. <laughs> so, can anybody tell me? I think it was like when somebody was subscribing or a super chat. Why did we say we wanted it? I'll have to go back and look. But I want to use it for everything. So, y'all tell me when we need to use it. And then you'll have to say, ring the bell. Like, we'll have to do it because I love that. So cool. All right. Y'all want to hear if we have a baby on the way? Y'all want to hear about our baby that's on the way? Let's do some good news. Let's do some good news. The baby on the way. <sighs> Somebody said, are we about to have four? We're going to have five if I can talk Vince into it, but I don't think I can talk him into it. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my dream since day one is to have five Winnie dogs all at one time. I've wanted a chocolate, a red, a black and tan, a dapple, and an Isabella. But I'm finding with Isabella's... You want the video or the pictures? Um, we can do both. I'm finding with Isabella's that they're very hard to come by short hair, and they're very hard to come by in girls, and they're even harder to come by in my price range. <laughs> That's the worst part, because they are not, not extremely affordable. So, um, I, I'm going to show pictures first. So... How do I get to them? Here they are. Do you have the little up close picture? Yeah, and yeah. photos. Save to your photos. Okay. Um, Vince's phone, y'all. You just can't know. You cannot know. The only place you're organized is your phone, and I can never find anything in it. Right? I want to introduce you to Clancy Moo. This is Miss Clancy Moo. There's her face. And you might be like, why Clancy Moo? Tell them why. It's all about that video of that stupid cat. Well, that's not why she's Clancy Moo. Tell the name. Oh, well, we have to have, you know, they got to have a middle name. So we have Lizzie Louise, we have Darcy Do, and Carly Q. And now we have Clancy, Clancy Moo. Moo. Is she the cutest thing ever? Now I will show you some other pictures of her and how cute she is. Um... <clears throat> So this is pictures of her at, oh no, that's her sister. That's the other one that I'm trying to talk him into, but so far, no go. Um, so far, no go. Here she is with her breeder parents. There's her back. Are y'all kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at her. There's her side. There's her profile. Do you see those ears? My favorite thing on Winnie Dolls is when their ears are longer than their heads. I just love that. This is her looking at you. See her little white chin? <clears throat> and she also has a two-tone nose. Are you kidding me? And then look at this baby. Her little paw right down here is white on the tip. She's the first one we've ever had that has a pattern to her. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you all this baby because the breeder told me if I know anybody that wants a little girl, he's, her sister's available. So if you would like to get her sister... I mean, 
we had a hard time deciding. The more I look at this baby. <laughs> look at her. Her little chocolate feet and her chocolate spots. She's so cute. So she's still available. Um, and if y'all are interested, if you'll let me know, I'll hook you up with him. So y'all, look at her. Look at her. Oh, my goodness. She's something else, isn't she? Look at this. Look at this. Okay, let me show y'all a couple things. Number one, look at her chin. Look at her chubby. But look at the fat rolls on her legs. How can you stay in that? How can you say no to that? How can you just keep saying no to that, Minnie? You really haven't said no, which is funny, because I know I could make him do it, but I'm trying not to. Look at this baby. <laughs> she's so cute. And she's a different color than Clancy, you know? Yeah. What was the other cat's name? Crispin? Crispin. <laughs> I guess that had to be her name. <laughs> She'd have to be Crispin. So, huh. we have a baby coming. Her name is Clancy, and we get her October the 10th, and I'm sure she'll be all over Instagram. We are so excited. The funny thing is we get her um, on October the 10th, October 11th, we go to Callaway Gardens. We get to go for the day to walk around our, our annual trip. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Well, I'm not going to have a problem because the staff are all willing to babysit. Like they're all like, we'll babysit. So we're excited about that. So yes, she's Dapple and her sister's Dapple. Um, but her sister is kind of um, the chocolate color. Dapple and um, Clancy is more of a black and tan with a gray dapple. I'm so excited. Zara, you're asking about her temperament. So funny. The breeder, who is local to me, by the way, he's close. He keeps telling me, um, every time I see her, I'm like, I cannot wait to cuddle her. He said, she is the sweetest thing. He's like, you will love her. She is so sweet. So I'm excited. And we've never had, um, we've never had one with a bad temperament. I know people say that. I mean, I had some friends growing up that had them. That's why I didn't want them to start with, because his were mean. I mean, they were awful. Connie's trying to help me. She just said litter mates won't cry as much. That's true. <laughs> I can't see the comments. What was anymore. Karen's great idea? Wait, I need to see it. Hold we, on. We need to go before they come up with some more ideas that I don't Listen, even know. It would take this much to get him to say yes. He. Vinny can say all he wants to, but y'all saw the picture I put up yesterday. I want to tell y'all about that. The point of that picture, which I wasn't able to do, was supposed to show their honey. So when we say we're a little behind, you'd see their little behinds. <laughs> but I couldn't get it to show Vince's face and them because of the way it did. Um, so that picture was so funny. We were sitting outside on the, in the backyard, and I was watering my mom's. Yes, they're still alive. <laughs> And I looked up, and those girls were all over Vince. And I was just like, snap, 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 taking pictures. And I love that picture of Vinny and the girls. Because, listen, that is Vince. Like, that picture is the embodiment of him. He loves those girls. That sweet look on his face, that is Vince. And so I was so happy to get that. Um, Fran says they get litter mates, and they're never I sorry. I see it now. <laughs> it's so sorry. Um, To the same age. Don't, but the older ones with playing. I have litter mates and they're the best. My neighbor has a very mean one. I've never, I've never seen a mean one or had a mean one. Now I know people say they have them. <gasps> Kim said, Vinny, call Todd. She wants her sister. Oh, you want me to convince Todd Kim, to Kim, you buy want it. the sister or you want him to call and convince Todd? Oh my gosh, we could have sisters, Kim. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Are you serious? Are you? He's. You're not. He would do it. He loves. He loves precious as much as Vince loves his girls. Where did Kim go? Is she really serious about that? Okay, call Todd. <laughs> hey Todd, we got an idea. <laughs> There's an ugly Dotson movie. I don't know about that one. That's awesome. Deirdre, that's Hell, see, awesome. That's just below the belt. I'm sorry. That is below the belt. Call and convince Todd. Look, look what <gasps> Elsie said. Elsie. <laughs> that's just low down. Elsie said, Benny, you need a puppy for each of your granddaughters to play with when they visit. That's just below the belt. That was sweet. More cowbells. Amy, Amy said she needs more cowbells. Amy said more cowbells. <laughs> Oh my, oh, we'd be related, Kim. Did you see that? We'd be related. An old Disney movie called The uh, called the Ugly Dotson, or is that what it's called? I'll look it up. I've never seen it. 
her Maddie Blaze is wonderful, but don't like other dogs. Cool. Our girls love everybody and everything. Um, Barb, we missed y'all. We missed y'all. We so literally sad. were like, we miss Barb. <laughs> That is so funny. Hey, I had a 125-pound lab that thought he was a weenie dog, too. Thought he was a lap dog. <laughs> he did not know any difference. And he didn't understand. Carly, our oldest girl, how old is Carly? 14? We pretty yeah. much figured she's 14. She was not a fan of Amos. Um, Amos is still in our family. He went When Thomas bought his house and moved out, Amos was actually Thomas's dog, but Vinny loved him as much. But Amos um, went to live with Thomas's mother in Mississippi. So now he is a lap dog. He lives inside. He's very happy. But um, I feel like one day he'll come home because Thomas will probably bring him home. I feel like he will. Don't say that to Thomas because Thomas has plenty of pets right now. We are pet people. We just are. Not all of us. Jared's not so much a pet person. He's never really been a pet person. No. Um, we are. And I think Josh is probably going to be. When he has a place he can have his own, I think he'll have some pets, one or two. How about some more thumbs up? We like them. Um, Kim, I'll call Todd. Todd, there's an opportunity you need to know about. The Ugly Dachshund was actually a Great Dane raised with Doxies. <gasps> My brother loves Great Danes. I feel like we'll have a new Great Dane niece or nephew before too long. Probably in the next six months to a year. You think? I don't know. I don't know how long they'll hold off. They just got a new cat. Lydia got a new cat. Her name is Scarlet Rose. Lydia and Ford got a new cat. She loves Scarlet. She tells me all little stories about her. Um, but I feel not like it yet. won't be we long. We have not talked about available classes. Oh, ready? Here we go. They're like, can we please get to the title of this video? Yeah, the last five <laughs> minutes of it. Okay, here's the deal. Um, Shannon, Tell me when. I'm going to let Shannon tell me when because she's going to turn them on right now and put a link in here. I don't believe they'll last through the end of this video. They might, but I do not believe they will. They might, but I went in there yesterday and we had just a little bit of stuff left over and between calling back the folks that wanted to buy extra when they were at Craft Acropolis and what was left, okay, this is what we have. Um, I'm waiting on her to tell me there a go. Catherine, I think one of my Dotsons does have an allergy. I've never had one that did, but I'm pretty sure Darcy has an allergy. And I've been giving her a supplement, and it slowed it down like it's itching. It slowed it down, but it hadn't fixed it. And Lisa, my friend that teaches with us, she has a black and tan named Latte. And Latte also has to take medicine for an itch that, they, that she gets. And I think Darcy may have it too. We're, we're planning a trip to the vet. When the new puppy comes, we'll probably, we'll just do it all at one time, take them all in, because um, I want to know. Like I said, the supplement has slowed down her scratch. She doesn't seem to just scratch constantly anymore, but I think she's got a little allergy, because it seems to be seasonal, doesn't it? Like, it, she doesn't do it all the time, but it seems like certain times of the year she's too busy scratching to even play. So, I don't like it. Oh, Precious Sheds and has an allergy. Now, my girl shed, but not enough for me to have to, like, have a lint roller or anything unless they're on me that's different they don't get on me all right are you telling me yes to classes Shannon is that what that was classes or was that reminding me about classes when she says I'm ready she's watching because she's typing the may may part an apple a day keeps the itches away are you serious about that because Darcy will eat anything so I could get her to eat an apple <laughs> bugs like I would love a latte right now y'all would love latte have y'all seen her before Lord, she just grips you, doesn't she? She's the cutest thing. Yes to classes. Okay. Our online event, October 15th, we were able to squeak out a few more classes. So I'm going to give you roughly what's available. My class is the Holiday Journal. Yes, you'll be starting it on October 15th, but my Holiday Journal is not a one-year Holiday Journal. It's actually for multiple years. So you can make it on the 15th, use it for the rest of October, November, December, and then again next year. Okay, um, that class, we found nine. We were able to make nine more. Lisa's class, where she is making the portrait album from the paper pack called Happy Christmas, it, we were able to make four more of those. Not many, four more. Um, Brenda's two classes. She has one that is a lighted box. It's really cool. It's a lighted shadow box. It's the one we made at Craft Acropolis. It's absolutely gorgeous. That class, we were able to make eight more. And then 
her second class is a shutter photo display. So it's two shutters that open and you can you can pin photos to it and she's using paint and paper and all that good stuff. We were able to get two of those, only two shutter classes. I'm doing good so far. I just didn't know that one. And Kim's class, which is an as many as card class using Christmas salutations, which by the way, people have been raving over Kim's first class. They have been raving. We were able to make nine more of those. Now, these are not sold in bundles and they do not get a make it go round. There will be a make it go round that weekend, but we did not have enough make it go rounds. But so many of you said you wanted those classes if we could break them out. Oh, we have one bundle. One this just in. <laughs> we have one bundle available. The one bundle will get you the make it go round. So if you want to grab that bundle, it's in store. You can go right now to maymayevents.com. Where's your Sharpie? I'm going to write it to maymayevents.com. By the time you write it, it's gone. I don't know. <coughs> www.maymayevents.com. Now that should be the only thing available to buy on the site. Yes, that's all the same. Everything else is turned off. There's nothing else available, just this, okay? there. And no, I'm glad you said that, Bug. In this bundle, it has the shutter class. If you want her lighted box, buy it separate. Um, because the, the lighted box was left over from Craft Acropolis. The shutter is actually what we're doing online. We couldn't get enough boxes to do it in both class, in both events, so we had to give her a separate class. So this bundle comes with the shutter and the make it go round. These are all individual, and you guys asked if we could do individual classes for you, okay? This is called Christmas Virtual Craft Acropolis. Tamitha just put the link in and, um, I think these will go kind of quick. Kim's class made. She does the layout for how many six cards, but you can make way more than that. She, she just gives you the. Sh she does a layout for six different styles of cards. She teaches you six cards to use that you use to make with all the paper pack. Lisa makes. Yes, you can watch the classes later. Okay, here's how it works. When you purchase your class, oh, did we put the emails in all of them? You're going to have to contact all these people. It's not many, but you're going to have to. Once you make a purchase, one, except for the one of Brendan. The bundle will be there for sure. When you purchase a class, we will send you an email. Okay, That email will have a link to every live class. We are doing them live on October 15th and 16th. But that link you have can be watched while we're live or it can be watched any time after that. So if you want to watch, don't watch, do it later, you know, if you want to buy something to do with a friend later, whatever, you can do that. Um, we are, we're planning to try to do some fun stuff, like some distance fun stuff since we're not together. It's so different when we're in person, we can be together and although this Craft Acropolis was very hard. Not, no one made it hard, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of our Craft Acropolis students. Everyone wore their mask where they were supposed to. Everyone took their temperature without whining. I would have whined. Like <laughs> everyone stayed in their in their um, social distance area. Everyone allowed social distancing in the classroom. I felt very safe. It was very very good, wasn't it? Yes. Um, I was so proud of how we handled it. But what I didn't like was how none of the fun stuff we got to do. The only fun thing we got to do was go to Rustic Relics and shop together. And that's because her store was big enough for us to still distance where we used to could go to dinner, but we didn't have a place to put us all together where we were social distance. It was such a good event where that was concerned, but it was sad because we couldn't do the fun stuff. So we can't wait for our next event to have the fun stuff. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> the bundle is sold, so you might want to take that one off. Somebody just said... Um, I'll mark it out. If anyone does not have the email for their online classes, now is the time. The morning of is not a good time yeah. to email that you don't have your link. So here's so what, check your email. Here's what she's saying. Please check your emails. If you have purchased classes for this event previously, please check the email you use to sign up with them. We make it a requirement. You have to put an email in. So make sure you check that email. All your links to attend the event are in that email. 
If you don't know how to reach them or find them or whatever, you need to go ahead and email Shannon now. Shannon at maymaymadeit.com. So she can go, I mean, we're two weeks out. We could go ahead and give you all that information because the morning of, Shannon will not have time to look at her email at all. She will be helping me set up. She'll be my helper in my class. So many times we get an email like 10.15 or 10.30. I can't find my email. You cannot wait that long because we'll be teaching, okay? And we're first that morning. Yeah. So you can't wait that long. Go ahead and tell us now if you haven't had your, if you haven't found your email or whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Life goals, craft Acropolis. I can't wait. We're we're planning a spring one. Somebody asked in the other, I hope we answered her. Somebody asked in the other event if, or in the other class if we were doing um, open house. We are doing holiday open house. November 4th, 5th, and 6th. We are doing holiday open house. It will be social distance, but that's why we're doing it. We may even add a day, depending, so we can have more room in the store. But we did really well at Craft Acropolis. People were very patient, very kind. Um, you know, as long as we keep everything social distance, we should be fine. So we plan to do Holiday Open House. If you're coming to Holiday Open House, it would be awesome if you'd let um, Amber know. Because it'd be really cool if we could even know we can expect this many people in this time frame. This many. That would be amazing if we could know that. I know it's hard to pinpoint. But if you could be like, hey, we're planning on coming the morning of the 5th. It'd be awesome she could kind of keep a tally of what to expect. Um, because of social distancing, that would be awesome. And just so you know, masks will be required. And I know people get upset about that. Listen, we have people walk out of our store all the time, but it's just what we're doing to be safe. It's just what we're doing. So they will be required. So don't come if you don't want to wear a mask. I don't make a scene outside. It doesn't, it doesn't look good for anybody. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's not a scene, but that stomp and turn around is not pretty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's don't do it. So if you don't want to wear a mask, don't come. Masks are required. Um, our store is too small for us to take any chances. And um, we don't want to take any chances. Um, you guys know, well, you don't know, but that's how I feel about it. I'm going to honor my mother's wishes and I'm going to do what she asked me to do. Okay, that's it. All right. I love Holiday Open House too. We're so excited to be able to do it again. Question. Are the individual classes you're offering now part of the bundle we already purchased? They are. The only one that's not part of the bundle you already purchased is Brenda's Lighted Box. That's a different class. So if you have the bundle, the only one different is going to be the Lighted Box. These were just ones we could do after Craft Acropolis. Um, open House will be from, it's, um, is it Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Yeah. So it'll be not, uh, 10 to 6, 10 to 6. What did we say on Saturday? I think we extended normal, so. Saturday. Saturday's normally 10 to 2, but I think we've extended the Saturday hours. What to expect at Holiday Open House? Make and takes. We plan to do four make and takes. Free. They're free. Um, we talked about refreshments. We usually do refreshments, but we're going to have to edit those a little bit. There'll be in-store sales of all different kinds. Um, you'll get to see us, <laughs> if, that, if you consider that a bonus. And um, it'll just be a holiday fun. We'll just... There'll be Christmas music and Christmas smells and we'll be in Christmas clothing. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> what do y'all want? Y'all want Vinny to be in Santa Claus outfit? Do y'all want Santa Claus? I love no. to bring Santa Claus. You want no. me to have Santa Claus here for pictures? You might do that, but he won't be Vinny. <laughs> Vince looks so good in a Santa Claus suit. I can just tell y'all. <laughs> I shared right. that. I shared that at Craft Acropolis and I was like, okay, you got to take that off. <laughs> because... I like Santa Claus the way I know him, not good looking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was funny. Tamitha, woohoo, another road trip. We had so much fun together. Y'all, we were laughing. Tamitha had literally a 15 minute teaching session on how to run the register, and she ran the register all of Craft Acropolis. <laughs> she was busy and she did good. Yes, one day, just pick a day. You don't need to, like somebody said, so we don't need. Don't worry about coming like um, like every day. All, all the make and takes will be the same. <clears throat> <coughs> we plan to do it where you would have, you could just come one day, but that way more people could come. Andrea, he makes a fantastic Santa. He really does. Um, but I'll tell you who else. Who showed me their husband doing Santa? 
Was it Melanie? Did anybody at Craftacropolis see? He is the cutest Santa. It was his first year last year, I want to say, she said. The reason we're doing the multiple Kim days. Kim Dixon said she might could get a Santa. The reason we're doing multiple days is so we can have more people over. So, like, rather than having one day and having everybody show up at the same time, we're doing multiple days so you can come and we won't have everybody at one time. That was the plan. Oh, Tamitha said everyone was kind and patient. The email will be from, that's a good question. Shannon, I don't know. What's the answer to that? I don't remember what that's set up as. Gosh, it might be from Vinny. Can we get Joe to be an elf? <laughs> There's no way. Can I tell you all a funny story while I'm waiting on her to answer this? When my brothers were young, dad, uh, dad used to have Santa at... Was it at Cobb or all the dealerships? He went to all the dealerships, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Like it was a, we had a, um, we worked for a dealership group that had five different dealerships. And Kim said, if Santa will let me have the dog, she can probably convince Santa to come. <clears throat> but Santa came to five different dealerships. And my dad made my two younger brothers dress up as elves every year. Do you remember this, Vince? Oh, yeah. They hated it. It might have been at the big the big year in uh, celebration he did it. Could have been. <coughs> but my brother Danny is the best elf you've ever seen. Is he not? He is the best elf. My brother Billy's too chunky for elf. He's too. But Danny is just the perfect elf. I wish, I bet we have a picture. If I can find a picture of Danny as an elf, I'm going to have to show y'all because he was great. Like, Danny has these little tiny ears. Like this is, he knows this about his little tiny ears. And so when he was an elf and put those big old pointy ears, it was so funny. So funny. <clears throat> All right, you're at. We got to go. 320. I was waiting to see who she said the email was coming from. She's not answering me. Do I need to message her? Can you message her and ask her? She might not be in the room. Can I don't you know. message Shannon oh. and ask her what email it comes from. Um, <clears throat> I don't have any funny stories what to tell y'all. Email. Oh, never mind. She just answered it. It's from Shannon at MayMayMadeIt.com. Shannon. All right, guys. We did a lot today. I always need a nap after my show. We need to remember what Ford said. Okay, have a good nap, man. All right, Vinny Boo. It is time to pray. I got it. Good deal. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thanks for the day. Um, I just thank you for your grace and for your mercy and for your comforting Holy Spirit for all of us. God, there's so much uh, going on, so much going around, so much sickness, so much hurting, so much death. Um, but, God, you can bring joy in spite of all of that. And, God, I thank you for that. I thank you, God, that uh, you allowed these folks that are watching today to be a part of our family here. And we just ask, God, that you would bless them. We thank you for everything that they do for us, uh, all the gifts they send us, all the merchandise they buy, all the, the kind words and, and just lifting us up and encouraging us. I just thank you for that. I pray, God, that that we could just be a little blessing to them uh, like they, uh, just in light of what all they do for us. So, God, we love you, and we thank you for the tremendous uh, outpouring of your Holy Spirit in our life. And I just pray, God, that you'll continue to use us, that you'll continue to bless us, and you'll continue to provide and protect us. For we ask it all in your precious name. Amen. Amen, guys. Thanks so much for being here today. We've got to go call Todd and see if we can have sisters. Um, <laughs> That's for Kim. Kim's gonna be he's gonna be mad, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It'd be our way of thanking him if for not, all his hard we work. We may have sisters. We will definitely be reaching out to Todd. <laughs> all right, guys, have a wonderful afternoon and until we see you again, bye now. Bye guys.